This is one of the most photogenic cookbooks I've ever seen. This is The Forest Feast Road Trip. This is by Erin Gleason, who did all the other Forest Feast books. I'm really pumped because this is just a beautiful cookbook. I barely flipped through it, and I was just, whoa, just floored. So let's look at it. Again, beautiful watercolor illustrations and actual photography throughout the book. As you can see, she showcases California. This is her little road trip through California, showcasing all these beautiful areas and gorgeous food. So let's look at the table of contents here. It's hard to even decipher where it is because everything is so beautiful. So we have here snacks, tips for using this book, drinks, salads, sides, breakfast, main, sweets, favorite stops. That's really cool for any of you guys who are on the west side or want to travel over to the west side. And we have acknowledgments and an index. Look at this, 10 homes on the road. Super cool. They have all of their, they list off all of these places where they actually are, which is kind of fun. And the, the illustrations are gorgeous. Let's see the recipes themselves. Holy moly. This is a spring ricotta platter. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> I love the mix. It's so much fun. So we have a little blurb here, how much it serves at the very top, your instructions, and it looks really just very uh, loose, this book. The instructions are just kind of like toss in a bowl here. Here are some of the examples of what this looks like. And it's, I don't think that looks tossed, right? Like, is it just me? It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. We have tahini balls. Again, this is all vegetarian. Pumpkin deviled eggs. Oh my goodness. Uh, I love here we have a blurb that says it's fun to travel to warm and sunny Palm Springs during colder months. On Thanksgiving, I always make deviled eggs as happy hour snacks while we cook. This year, I added pumpkin to the filling and these were a hit. I would have never thought of doing that, but it would make it more filling. And if you're somebody that does Thanksgiving all day, this would be great for earlier, almost like lunchtime, and then you can actually have Thanksgiving for dinner. Uh, I know a lot of people start at like two for Thanksgiving. Here we have an introduction to the chapter. So I like what she does here. We have a list of the recipes that she is gonna showcase, plus the page numbers. I personally like that. It makes it easier to navigate the book, especially something so colorful as this. I want to look at every page. So if I really want to be focused and figure out exactly what I want, this is the perfect addition to that. Beautiful mocktails here. I like that she's included that. Not everybody drinks. And a lot of people just want to have fun, non-alcoholic beverages. I love that option. Here we have an actual alcoholic beverage. It's the Pacific Paloma. As you can see, just stunning. Orange frappe, yum, beautiful. All right, so let's move on to, these are some soups. I just saw, oh my God. Oh, carrots with mint caper temp tempanade. I know that's technically not a soup. I saw, I saw soups, I promise. Okay, we have, ooh, spaghetti squash taquitos. That's awesome. Love that. I love that idea. That's so, so good. So clever. Acorn squash bowls. God, that's gorgeous. Seriously, this is just beautiful. Rainbow tahini bowls. <clears throat> potato, uh, sweet potato bars. Ooh, and she gives us a sweet spring barbecue and tofu version of these. So I like that not every recipe is just very strict. Like I said before, it's really loose. She, it, it's playful. This book is really fun. Um, it really makes you want to be adventurous with your dishes. Here's a veggie calzone bar so you can actually lay out certain ingredients out, have people fill their own calzones. And then you can just go ahead and bake them. That's a great idea for parties, a calzone bar. Oh my God. Here's Palm Springs. I'll show you a few more. Let's see if I can find the desserts. There's so many, yes, I just did. Ho, ho, ho. Spicy hazelnut s'mores. Okay, 
I love this. I have seen so many s'mores recipes. This is so unique. I love this. I hope everybody can see how beautiful these photos are. Persimmon smoothie bowls. Again, I've n there's persimmon everywhere where we're at, and I've never cooked with it before, and I really want to. This is so inspiring. Pineapple swirl. Yummy. I would add a little rum to it because that's just me. Uh, sticky date almond sundaes. Yum. Ooh, super good. So as you can see, this is a really, really amazing cookbook. Super fun. It's not necessarily let's go on a road trip and camp and make these crazy meals. Maybe you can. I need to read through it more. But this just looks really elegant, really beautiful, all vegetarian. I highly recommend it. So, so cool. If you guys want to check out more of our cookbooks, come check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Amazon Live. We'd love to see you guys there. We do a lot of live events, and we have a store over there as well. Make sure before you leave today to subscribe and to like, to comment, to like. If you guys want a cookbook or want us to go over a cookbook, let us know. We're more than happy to do that for you. Have a good day.